Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your ninth SAS tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can make a grid system using a bit of math in SAS. <laughs> okay then guys, so our website is coming along swimmingly and there's one section we've yet to style and this is this project section right here. By the way, these are little placeholder images that I use from this website, placehold.it. And basically what you do is type this URL in your image source tag and then whatever size placeholder you want you just pop it in there so I could do something like 400 times 400 then that's going to output that size placeholder image for me in the document okay so this is really cool for prototyping designs or layouts if you like I'm just going to stick with 150 by 150 for now and I've got 12 of, of those stacked in li tags and they're all in this projects section right there so let's copy that and uh, say I want to make these into some kind of grid. Well, traditionally in CSS, I'd do something like this. Projects, li, and then within that, I'd say float them all to the left. Um, I don't know, make them a width of 23%, and then do a margin right of 2%. And then what we'll do is make the image within those 100% width. So a width of 100% of the li tag okay so now if we press save we get something like this which is fine absolutely fine but you'll notice we get that extra margin there on the right which isn't great i don't like that kind of th uh, thing i want it to be even there's no margin here on the left from this uh, but there is extra margin here on the right so you'd have to start using nth child to get rid of that bit of margin then tweaking the widths of your li tags to make them all equal etc so what I'm gonna do is instead show you how we can do this using SAS and create a really flexible grid system which is gonna get rid of this problem. So let's get rid of all this here and uh, we'll save that. I'm gonna keep this in for now. Then we're gonna go into our mixins and make a new mixin which is gonna be for our grid. So to do that we'll say mixin and we'll call this grid. And then I mentioned in a couple of tutorials ago that we could pass through variables into our mixins and then use those variables within it. So that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial. So I'm gonna pass through two variables. The first one is gonna be called calls, and that's gonna be the number of columns that we want in our grid. So how many of these are gonna line up next to each other? Uh, the next one is gonna be the margin that we want to be between each of the elements. So that's MGN. So we're gonna use these in a second. So first of all, again, I wanna float all of the LI tags to the left. And then after that, I want to give them a margin to the right of the margin. And then I want to give them a margin bottom of margin. And then we're going to work out the width. Okay? So each one of these, now each one of these elements is going to have a margin to the right of this margin that we pass through. So say it's 10 pixels or something like that. Each one of these has 10 pixels, right? But we don't want the last one to have 10 pixels. We want the last one to sit flush against the right hand side so we want to take the margin away from that so before i do this width let's sort that out so we know we can use the ampersand to use a pseudo class so i'll say and and then we're going to use nth child and in this nth child we want to pass through the uh, the last child on each row right so say we have five in a row yeah then we want every fifth element to have a margin right of zero now how do we get that well, we can just pass this variable through here because this is going to tell us how many columns we're going to have. So if this is five, then it's going to be every fifth child. So we can output this here. We could say calls n, except we can't do calls n. We have to embed this in some kind of variable template like so. Because if it was just calls and then n, it's going to look for this variable calls n, and we don't have that. So we have to wrap the actual variable in this thing right here and then put n. Okay, so this is going to get the last child on each row and we're going to say margin right is going to be zero on those children. Okay, okay, let's work out the width. We'll do it above here like so. Now then, we want the width to be equally distributed between each element and we also want to take into account the margin. So I've created a formula for this and I'm just going to paste it in to begin with and then I'll go through it. So, what I've said is take 100% width first of all, okay? Then I want you to minus this thing, calls minus one, times the margin, 
right? So say there's five columns. Then I've said coles minus one, which is four, times the margin, because each, four of these have a margin to the right, not five, that's why we've minus one, okay? And that space is gonna be used for the margin. So this equates, say for example, to 20%. What we're doing is saying, okay, well take 100%, then take away that 20% because that's all allocated to margin, all right, based on the margin that we've supplied. Then with that leftover width, whatever's left, in this case, let's just pretend it's 80%, I want you to divide that 80% by the number of columns that we have. So if this is five, then I don't know what that is off the top of my head, it's gonna be just 80% divided by five, and it's gonna kind of spread that uh, width out equally to each element. So let's save that, that's our mixing done. What we need to do now is call this mixing in here, right? So we'll say at include, and it's called grid. And remember, we have to pass through two things. We have to pass through the number of columns in each row and also the margin that we want. So let's say, for example, we want four columns and we also want a 30 pixel margin. Okay, so let's try that. Press save and see what happens on the right. It's unable to compile. Oops, that's because we passed through a uh, pixel value there and we need a percentage. Let's pass through 2%. Save that. Okay, now it works. Okay, so now you see this flush to the right side, flush to the left side, and it's created that grid for us. And now it's really easy to change this. Say we want six columns and we want 4%. We'll save that. And then we get that right there. So now this works really easily. Whenever you want to change your grid, you can do. I'm just going to do one more. I'm going to say two columns. Uh, yeah, two columns. And I'll say an 8% margin. And I press save. And now we get them like so. So this is really cool. And by the way, the reason we had to pass a percentage through here and not a pixel value is because we're doing all of this mathematics right here. So we're times in... Um, you know, the the percentage value or we're minusing the percentage value from a percentage value, all right? So that is how we create a grid system using SAS and a mixing. Any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.